Hey, so in this video, I want to go over factoring quadratics. And to do that, we're going to start with um, this problem here, this quadratic 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. And we're going to factor this to rewrite the equation in terms of the x-intercepts. This is one of those things that like practice is going to really get you uh, a, a knack for seeing this, but I'm going to show you some of the patterns in this. And the easiest way to do that is with algebra tiles. So in Brainy Camp, you can go to algebra tiles, and you can change it here in the bottom corner to um, factors. Now with that, um, you can represent the equation you have, which in this case is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. So I can bring one, two x squared, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, that's too many. Oops, that's the wrong thing too. Um, pro tip, you can't see it anymore. You can't see it because the thing's in the way. That is super annoying. Um, there's an undo button in Brainy Camp now. So two x squared plus seven x plus three. That is the quadratic on you. So 7x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 3, 1, 2, 3. All right, 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Let's make sure I got that represented using algebra tiles correctly. Yes, good. Now, to factor this, you basically want to take these and build a rectangle. Um, so you might like start like this. Like, OK, how can I build a rectangle? This looks pretty good. Um, and the biggest thing you want to remember is that you're x squared, your like ax squared term should be in the top left and in the bottom right should be your c. And then these ones kind of need to get flipped around to, to match that. Um, so again, I think 7x plus 3, right? All right. So then we want to kind of flip these. Around. And what you'll see is that you can flip these and look, now I have more of a rectangle, right? Nice. Um, I can flip them, these other two, and put them down here. I can do that, and then I could potentially like move that down. Now I see. So it doesn't look like a rectangle, but what you can actually do is you can put six of them here on the bottom, right? And because you have two x, then in rows of two, and it makes three rows, I put one here on this side, and now I have a perfect rectangle. And the reason you want to work on and arranging them to make the rectangles because this essentially tells you the factors that you can then create a pattern from. Um, and so over here on the side, you can kind of create your factors. This is going to be x times, and up here it would be x. x times x is x squared, all right? And then this here would be another x times x is x squared. So I'm, that makes sense. So 2x times x would be 2x squared, and that's what give me this one. But how do I get this? Well, I can do 1. 1 times x equals x, and then 1 times, well, 1, and then you want to do this to 3, 1, 2, 3, so it lines up. So this is 1. 1 times x is x. 1 times x is x. So you have these here. It's going to end up equaling everything. So you have x plus 3 and 2x plus 1. Now I could pick up my marker, and I could kind of like write this as an area model, um, where you have 2x squared in the top right, and you have 3 down here. And so you know that 3 times 1, and 2x times x, and that's this x plus 3. So over here, and 2x plus 1. Now, there's a pattern with these two. The product of these two is equal to the product of these two. Now, these two are going to be, this is just x, and this is going to be 6x, right? And so 6x times x is equal to 6x squared. And 3 times 2x is equal to 6x squared. So this is a way that you can use to kind of shortcut your way 
if you can know, because you're always going to know like this first term and this term, and you can use it to kind of figure out also like 6x plus x when you combine these two. I'm going to write this out, 2x squared plus 6x plus x plus 3. You combine these two terms and you get 2x squared plus 7x plus 3, which means these are the factors for 2x squared plus 7x plus 3, and then you can solve them to get your roots when x is equal to 0. Um, that's kind of how you do this. It's a little shortcut to kind of give you some practice in thinking about it. I, I think the algebra tiles to me for a beginner is the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to clear all, and we'll go on to another example. Um, again, I'm kind of going through representational, factored, getting all this kind of through here, concrete representation of everything. So x squared plus 5x plus 6 is this next example. x squared, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x plus 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oops, it's one too many. We can use the undo button. The undo button is so glad they added that. All right, so again, I can kind of set these up here. Um, maybe split them up to work on this. Again, I kind of, these x ones, you almost maybe you can like move to the side a little bit, right? And worry about these diagonals here. So how can I make a square with the six or a rectangle, not a square? So I only have one x squared and then I have the six. So I have that, right? Then I could set this up where I have the two x as a line. So it's looking like a rectangle and I have three x's left that I could put in here. I still have the total five x plus 6 and x squared. Then I kind of pull this out to the factor. So this factor would be x. And then this x would also be up here. So you do x times x is x squared. Then I could add 3 up there. And this would be 1 times x is x, 1 times x is x, 1 times x is x. And then you would put 2 down here. And then x and kind of goes across. So I have this rectangle that allows me to pull out the factors. In this case, my factors would be um, x plus 2 times x plus 3. And again, I can put them in an area model, x plus 2 and x plus 3. And ideally, in person, we'd be playing with these algebra tiles for a couple days. But um, unfortunately, we don't really have that situation here. But x squared is where we would get there. And 3 times 2 is 6. And you can see that's my first term and my third term here. And if I, and then I need to come up with these two, it would be x times 2 is 2x, which is also this. And 3x is this, right? Kind of see this. It's broken up like that. Um, and now when I add these two together, 2x plus 3x equals 5x. And if you, do, you add x squared, and add 6 at the end. When I multiply x plus 2 times x plus 3, I get x squared plus 5x plus 6. That means these are two factor, these are factors that I could use to find the roots for this quadratic, which are the x-intercepts. Um, again, that same pattern, if you multiply these diagonals here, so x squared plus x squared times 6, equals 6x squared, and 3x times 2x equals 6x squared. So that makes you know that you kind of set this up correctly. Um, plus, you can make the square here. Plus, when I then add these two together, it equals this middle term in my quadratic. Um, yeah, so that's how you do that one. Let's go on to one more, because this next one is a little bit tricky. 2x squared minus x minus 3. So I'm going to write this one down. 2x squared minus x minus 3. I spent hours on this one um, working through this. Because the first way I set it up just didn't work. I did 2x, and I did minus x, so now you need to use a negative, and minus 3. 2, 3. I set it up to look like this. And I'm like, that's, I don't even know how I'm going to get a rectangle here, right? So the key thing here is understanding 
that sometimes we need to add zero pairs. So the recommendation in the lesson plan was that every for every one of these problems, you pull out zero pairs for your x's. And they say to make three for each set, which was my hint as to how to do this one. You don't necessarily need all three, and I'll delete some at the end. But in theory, I could use these. And you want to try to keep this x value in the top right negative, and these ones down here could be positive since I have to add in zero pairs. The way I originally had it set up was like this. I was like, okay, so that means I got to put negatives here. Oh, let me undo that. Uh, so I got to put my negatives here, right? But it didn't work. And I did actually add a whole bunch of zero pairs here and still don't have a rectangle. Just didn't work. Um, but what you can do is you can add in two of these, right? And it does work. And But I can shift this. So I put in two positive x's, right? Which means that I have to put in two negative x's to make it zero. Because these two zero pairs, let me pull up this marker just to kind of highlight this for you. These two and these two make zero pairs. That means they don't change the actual um, thing. And these two here I end up not needing. So now I have a rectangle. And if you look at what this says, it says 2x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 3. Well, if you combine these like terms, you end up with negative 1x. So it's still the same thing. It's still the same thing we started with. All right. Let's clear all the drawings now. And now I can pull out my factors. So I can come in here and see x, right, and then x, does positive x work? x times x is x squared. OK, that would work. And then I can put another positive x here. All right. And then this one should be 1. 1 times x is x, and 1 times x is x. 1 times what is negative 1. So that's where I need to put in these negatives. I put in negatives here. Because x times negative 1 is negative x, and x times negative 1 is negative x, and x times negative 1 is negative x. So you got that there. The ones here become all negative. So these are my factors. 2x minus 3 times x plus 1. And this is hard to conceptualize when you're starting with the quadratic. And these algebra tiles are huge and just setting it up, playing around, trying to figure it out. Um, so I can multiply this out using the area model, 2x minus 3. And um, x plus 1. x times 2x is going to be 2x squared. x times negative 3 is going to be negative 3x. 1 times 2x is 2x. And 1 times 3 is negative 3. Again, the same rules apply. Um, you can actually see that it has 2x minus 3x already in here. 2x squared. And minus 3. You combine those, you end up with 2x squared minus x minus 3. And when I um, come up with your cross products, 2x squared times 3 equals 6x squared. Coincidentally, all the examples have been equaling 6x squared. That is not always the case. 3x times 2x equals Oh, sorry, this should be negative 6x squared, because 1 was a negative. Negative 6x squared. See, it does not equal 6. It's negative 6x squared. And these are equivalent, so we know we've set this up right. And again, if you look and draw this here, you can kind of see the four sections. Here's negative 3, negative 3x, 2x, and 2x squared. And that's how you can use Braining Camp to um, factor polynomials using the algebra or quadratics using the specifically quadratics using algebra tiles including just getting through to the factored form um, an area model kind of all connecting to what we've been doing